For a high risk loan, we need to set a high interest rate. Look, I'm going to have to find another way. Dad said that since you signed those papers, if you don't go through with this, so if he has the right to keep all the money Dad's given her. Let me guess, you've changed your mind? You uh, got a pen? Yes. What's up? That was my lawyer. He received Brody's deposit. Oh, so he fronted up to his old man after all. We didn't save it. It doesn't matter, guys. I sold the bar. Congratulations. <laughs> Sweet. So you wouldn't mind letting your poverty-stricken brother say a check with five or six noughts on it? <laughs> right, I'll look after you. Don't worry. If you ever need a second-hand stethoscope or whatever, just give me a call. Finally, you can draw a line under the past. Yeah. We should celebrate. How about we go to dinner tonight at the Peelington? My shout. You too, of course. Oh, thanks, but I'll leave it to you young things to go wild in the city. <laughs> okay, well, we could do a family thing maybe when Dad gets over his jet lag. Sure, I'll, uh, I'll see you at work. Okay, so it looks like it's just us and whoever Hunter can find to date. <laughs> I'll leave you two to celebrate. I'll wait for the family thing. Just us, then. I think that can be arranged. How dangerous are these guys? Tim Tor's the smiling tiger. Right, Cole enjoys scaring people, I've no doubt. He enjoys hurting them too. So as long as we keep the smiling tiger happy, we basically make out like bandits. And keep our lives. Well, oh, they've only threatened you though, right? <laughs> You're really enjoying this. Uh, straightforward knee surgery, massive payoff. I'm happy as. What have you two got yourselves into this time? I'll catch you later. Well? Who? Us? Nothing. It's not some dodgy surgeries again, is it? All you need to know is the end result. One day's work, and we can look forward to luxury for the entire summer break. It's going to be a very merry Christmas. Evan's been gone two nights now. Well, he won't starve and he won't freeze to death. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Selfish little so-and-so, I'm going to wring his neck for putting you through this. He'll be back before Christmas, don't worry. In fact, the little rat will come crawling back as soon as he runs out of fish. I just want him back now. You wait till he runs out of clean underwear. Even he's not scummy enough to go four days in the same pair of gruts. Bella, please. Um, Murray? Okay. So I just finalised the sale with Sophie. Your dad came through with the loan. Brilliant. Hmm. So anyway, it looks like we've got ourselves a bar. Good one. Right now, look, I just wanted to let you know that I love your daughter and I am in this for real. I, I am going to work my butt off to make sure that this place is a success. Same. The missus will kill me if I don't. So do you reckon Evan will be home soon? He'll come home when he wants to. He's a stubborn little beggar. Yeah, where do you reckon he got that from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate. Look, I need to go and look for him again today. You reckon you could cover for me here? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, thanks. I owe you one. Let's do the rounds, eh? Yep. Tell him he's dead when I get hold of him. When we have children, they're going to know we're a team. No iron team, no tantrums. Kids, right, um... You're going to run screaming now, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just, I mean, can we wait a couple of years until maybe we have some money? I'm so crazy for you. Yeah, and me for you, gorgeous. Now get out of here. I got a bar to run. <laughs> See you later. This budget's slightly thinner than last year. Stay with me tonight. I told you, I can't. Hunter and Sophie will suss some things up. It is only a few more days. I'll move in with you as soon as Callum gets back. Do you think you can keep your trousers on till then? If you hear about a trouserless surgeon wandering around, it'll be your fault. You're mad. Can we just focus now, please? We council dug up the road outside the clinic, cut the mains. So? No power, no operation. Oh, so we'll just have to tell Mr Big to postpone until tomorrow or the day after? Oh, like they'll accept that. They gave me a date for the op, then they leave town, end off. Well, they'll just have to be patient. They don't do patient. They especially don't pay a quarter mil without getting what they want, when they want. What am I going to tell them? Oh, I'm happy to do it. 
Have you got the number? It says offsider. Right, go. Hand him over. Be really careful. Isaac Worthington. Mr. Milliash, is it? Yeah, the surgeon who'll be doing your boss's operation. I'm glad you called, uh, because something's come up. That's a small problem, yeah. We can't do the operation today. OK. Hang on a sec. Is this guy for real? Vivil Meat? He wants to mate. Oh, God. <laughs> you just can't keep that grin off your face, can you? <laughs> nope. So what is this? Love, lust, uh, like? Uh, all three. The trifecta, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now Sophie's rich. You, my friend, you're a lucky man. Oh, Sophie's not that rich. Oh. So, where are you guys celebrating tonight? Well, Sophie thought the Pennington. Mm. Well, she sure can afford it. Well, we might go there, we might not. Anyway, tonight's on me, not her. <laughs> hey. Hey. Whoa. Easy. Two people. Easy. You ready for a big night? Yeah, the Pennington, huh? Mum and Dad took me there for my 16th, and I've been looking for an excuse to go back ever since. Should I book? Nah, I'll do that. Um, what time? Say so seven? Yeah, sure, excellent. And just so you know, the hotel upstairs is first class, too. I should book a room. Up to you. Relax, we want the same thing. They want Mr. Big to have his offer. We want lots of money. No joking around, OK? It's job be business. That's him. Right, go Miliash, I presume. Isaac Worthington. We're here to solve the problem. Of course. Now, I've cleared my schedule for tomorrow, so we should be able to operate about 10 a.m. No, not tomorrow, today. Our operating clinic is currently without power. You can bring in lights, yes? Generators and so on? We wouldn't be able to run all the equipment needed to make such an operation safe. A hotel room, then, that is well lit. <laughs> Operate in a hotel room. It's not funny. We wouldn't be able to use general anaesthetic in a hotel, OK? Then do a local or a spinal block. It's not going to happen. It wouldn't be safe. You want safe? Then stop telling me no. You agreed to give Tintori's operation today. It has to be today. We leave after. We have no options here. Tomorrow, yes. Today, not possible. I like you are calm. He's a good surgeon, he's calm. Now, I will tell you something and you will listen. Uh, you are a doctor at hospital. Find operating room, do operation today. You do this or you will need a hospital for yourselves. Call me within one hour. I told you. He's insane. We've got less than an hour to sort this. Believe me, we need to find a way to do this or bad stuff happens. Hello, you gorgeous bar boyfriend, you. Hey, you. Yeah, enough of that. Is there any coffee going for a poor med student? Sure. Do you want a coffee? Can I make it? One lesson, and suddenly she's a barista. Go on, then. Your old man's not giving you any rope, is he? Yeah, things will be tight for a while. But by 2020, I might actually be able to afford to eat and drink in my very own bar. Ah, yeah. Oh, you'll have to show me again. <laughs> oh, hey, before I forget, I have booked the band and the frozen food has been delivered, but when does the social club want to come and do the decorations? Oh, I'll have to check with Yvonne and Nicole. They don't trust me with anything electrical. <laughs> Man, you bust one hospital photocopier and suddenly everybody's all judgmental. I know. Brody, we have a problem. Okay, well, I'll send them through now. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, um, have you ever stayed at the Pennington? Uh, oh, right. Dad's birthday, of course. <laughs> Why? Well, Daniel and I were thinking we might stay there after our dinner tonight. Nice. But I still want to do the family thing when Dad gets back. <laughs> oh, and I'm taking your advice. I'm going to get a smartphone at lunch today, so I look like a real PA. <laughs> you already are. You're doing a great job. <laughs> OK, thanks. List of vascular surgeons. Thank you for doing it so quickly. What's up? I just realised how tied in you are with his family. 
They love you. Yeah, I kind of love them too. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. What about this one? 52, ex-rugby player. Oh, he's Māori. Can't talk very clearly, isn't it? Yeah, well, we're running out of options here. Oh, what about that guy? William Wilson. He sounds like a real Kiwi. Funny about the thick Serbian accent. Tintle could say he changed his name so he'd fit in better. We can't have anything that sticks out. If anyone here spots this guy, it's our career's on the line. Right now, our lives are on the line. Anyway, look at him. 50s. Sporty, similar medical history. God help us. William Wilson it is. Can you just... Can you give me a moment? Yeah, sure. Another wonky coffee? Yeah, thanks. What did the freezer guy say? Um, well, he reckons it's going to cost around half the price of a new one to get the old one repaired, so either way, it's going to be a ton of money. Well, all the food for the Christmas party's in there. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it'll spoil. Tell the freezer man to fix it fast. <coughs> well, you could buy a new one. It's totally your call. Dad's pretty busy. <sighs> well, if we fix it, then we have a working freezer for half the price of a new one. And then, if it goes wrong again, then we've just lost all that money and all the food. I mean, at least if we get a new one, then we have all the warranties and stuff, right? <sighs> new freezer it is. On credit. Ouch. Dude, do you have any idea how much a meal at the Pennington costs? Uh, a meal for two would set you back three or four hundred. Yes, and do you know how much the cheapest sweets cost? The sweets? Uh, but don't they have rooms? <laughs> no, the Pennington only does sweets. Starting at 900 a night. Well, lucky you're a well-paid orderly in a public hospital. Mm. It's also if you're broke, she'll understand. Well, I don't want her thinking that she's hooked some loser. And I'd rather go into debt. Further into debt. Now, what's the priority here? <sighs> All right, a great night together. Romance doesn't come with a price tag. Rethink, dude. So was it worth going in the end? Lucky you. OK, we'll talk later. Me too. Bye. Thank you. Was that I miss you or I love you? I miss you. And you miss him too. How romantic. <laughs> hey, so on, on the subject of romance, um, just between us, Daniel's about to mortgage his soul for a meal and a suite at the Pennington. Is it that expensive? I think they do one-night packages for 1200 if that helps. $1,200. Yeah. He says you're worth it, and he'd kill me if he knew I was telling you this. It's special. I'll pay. And Daniel would be all right with that. Male pride. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, 37.8 is a low-grade fever, but if I took you to theatre today, there's a risk your recovery could be compromised. Disappointing. But we need to get on top of this before you can have your surgery. Now, we'll reassess in 24 hours, and hopefully you'll be good to go then. OK, thanks, Doctor. Ah, I'm glad I caught you. I'm cancelling Mrs Greenway. Why? She has a fever. She needs IV antibiotics. Oh, that's fine. We'll push the next one up the list. Actually, I have someone else I'd like to put in that slot. The next person on the list? He's on the waiting list, uh, Mr William Wilson transverse fracture of the patella, which he did while installing a kid's playground as a volunteer. He can't wait there, and his wife's expecting baby number two. Wouldn't it be good if he could carry his child without pain? <sighs> Your call. Please. Bill's a top bloke, and he's ready to go immediately. OK. Dot the I's, cross the T's, get him in. Terrific. You guys are lifesavers. Literally. Dude, you cannot eat that here, man. I'm trying to make a living. OK, OK. I'll grab a coffee. Come on. All done. Thanks. Yes. Freezer trouble again? Not anymore. I just bought a new one. Oh. Well, it was either that or pay half for that to repair the old one. Fair call, I guess. Yeah, but there goes any money I had left over to make any loan repayments. Oh, your dad won't freak if you miss one, will he? Hmm. So, uh, any news on Evan? No. Hey! Wow, nice. I know, I had to get it for work. It cost a bomb, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? You're rolling in it. With my money. Hey, you wanted a bus, you get the good and the bad. 
Speaking of that, I have news. Uh, you know you're booking at the Pennington? Yeah. Well, they left a message for you. Apparently, they double booked. There's no room at the inn, I'm afraid. So we'll have to make our own fun. Really? Yeah, but that's OK, because Rachel and Hunter are both out tonight. So would you settle for just me and a home-cooked meal? I'd love that. Yeah. I'll see you later. You booked the Penlington on your wages? Yeah, well, that's the interesting bit. I was gonna right after lunch. So she's lying. <laughs> the question is why? So, Mr. Wilson, any medical conditions I should be aware of? No. What about your asthma? Any recent problems? Oh, all good, no, no problem. Not taking any medications? No. Not even for your asthma? I do take something for my asthma sometimes. Yes. Little. I understand the only previous surgery you've had is when you had your appendix removed. Uh, yes. Any allergies to any drugs that you're aware of? No. I all good. Oh, just do the operation. Tell him so. Mr. Wilson's nephew's just concerned. It'll be a tense time when a loved one's facing surgery. <laughs> do you have any questions? No, no questions. I must say, Mr. Wilson, I expected to meet a Kiwi bloke with that name of yours, uh, not a gentleman from Eastern Europe. <laughs> Serbia. But I have been here a long time now. I like the Kiwi name better. Mm. Luke, we're pressed for time. All right. Uh, well, I'll uh, see you in theatre. Okay, I'm good to go. No more problem. Yum, this will be the first home cooked meal I've had in ages. You said Don't that you... worry, I wouldn't dream of interrupting you feeding your man with your own little hands. It's romantic. Yeah, until he tastes it, you can barely cook toast. Yes, I can. When the smoke detector goes off, I scrape off the charcoal, put the toast in the bin, and then head down to a cafe for a proper cooked meal. I think I learned that one from you. So what's tonight's gourmet selection? I was thinking mussels with roast almond salsa and peach melba for afterwards. Wooden meat and three veg be safer? No way. Daniel was prepared to hock himself to the eyeballs to pay for a room and dinner at the Pennington. This is the least I can do. The least you can do is have a stomach pump handy. <laughs> wow, Daniel, those are so sweet. Oh, oh. Thank you. They look magnificent. Go. Night. I haven't even started cooking yet. Well, that's OK. I can help. No, no. You relax. Have some wine. Wow, that looks like a lot of food. Mussels with roast almond salsa and peach melba for afterwards. Good. Better than the Pennington. Yeah, I'm um, kind of glad that they cancelled, so it can just be you and me. Not some fancy, fancy waiter or a menu in a language that I don't even speak. Mm, mm. you got to give them credit, though, for knowing that I was going to book. Sorry? Well, I actually hadn't got around to booking yet. Yet they knew to call you to cancel. <laughs> Which means you lied. Probably because the Maori guy I used to live with opened his big fat mouth. Are you angry? <sighs> no, no, no. Look, I could have afforded it. Just. But you didn't need to be so nice. You're just being nice. I just wanted to spend time with you. Yeah, I don't want you to spend money on me. That's my job. Fine. You keep your gender role stereotypes, and I better get cooking or we'll never eat. Hey, I called you on the way over, but is your new phone working? It's not in here. Okay, don't panic. Where did I have it last? Just picture it in your hand and think where that was. Yeah, my client just bailed on me. It turns out they're not having their Christmas party here at all. Yeah, play notice. Yeah, tell me about it. Now, nah, don't worry, mate. I will definitely be having a go at their social club director. Cheers. Yeah, sorry, mate. Bye. Oh, hey, look, I just had some bad news about the Christmas party. The band double booked themselves, so they had to cancel. Oh, well, uh, perhaps we can just put that money towards something else. 
No, no, no. Um, it's already sorted. I managed to book us a DJ. We were really lucky to get him. Oh, cool. Who? Uh, the, the DJ. His, uh, his name is what? Actually, he's got a lot of names, really. In, in Europe, he's, he's known as um, DJ Bottle. Yeah, DJ Bottle. Um, what's the what's with the box? Christmas decorations. We'll put them up tomorrow. All oh, right. Yeah. Good thinking. Well, um, yeah. Just find a space in the storeroom off to the side of the kitchen. That's odd. And what is? He doesn't have a dental plate. Gosh, that's interesting, Luke. Dying out on these kinds of hilarious medical stories. No, seriously, his notes say he has a dental plate. You got it removed, whatever. But this doesn't feel right. Can we start this operation, please? Not yet. A few things aren't adding up. During the consult, he was vague about his medical details. I thought nothing of it. A language barrier. But now his teeth. You're cancelling this operation because of his teeth. No, I'm cancelling this operation because we've got the wrong patient. I saw your light on. I'm avoiding home. Sophie and Daniel are having a romantic night in. Good. What are you doing? If you're gonna stay away from home, you might as well do it at my place. I told you. I... You can't stay over, not until Callum gets back. That doesn't mean you can't have a romantic night in with me and sneak back to the Mackays later on. That's what this has come to. Us sneaking around like teenagers while the teenagers have a grown-up night in. It's kind of hot. <laughs> I shouldn't offer you a shred of sympathy, not after the hell you put us both through. I did, didn't I? You are sure this time? No more backflips? If you can put up with me, I'm yours. Part of me was sure you were staying with Callum out of loyalty. Well, he was good to me. <sighs> it's not enough, though, is it? No. Enough work. Finish up here. I'll take you to dinner. Then you can take me home. To your place. <laughs> Carrying on behind his back. Betrayal. Don't bother trying to explain yourself. Can break hearts. Just get your stuff and get out. And shatter families. I used to really respect you. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.